Niman, also known as the Way of the Rancor, was sixth of the seven classical forms of lightsaber combat. Niman was, in essence, a balance of the various specializations of the other lightsaber forms. Thus, although Niman had no significant weaknesses, nor did it have any prominent advantages. Overall, Niman did not require the user to be particularly gifted in terms of physical strength or stature, and was designed as a simple yet effective form for Jedi who preferred to spend more time developing their skills in perception, political strategy, and negotiation. For this reason, Niman is often referred to as the diplomat's form, and allowed a Jedi to, in the words of the Jedi Battlemaster Sindralig, achieve true harmony and justice without resorting to the rule of power. To compensate for the lack of intense blade work, Form 6 encouraged the integration of force powers into combat. Of course, in the hands of a skilled practitioner, Niman had the capacity to be just as deadly as any other form. However, because it was utilized primarily by Jedi Consulars and Diplomats, who seldom found themselves in full-out combat, Form 6 was generally considered to be but the foundation from which prospective duelists could branch out and study other forms, most commonly, Jarkai. Ultimately, success in Niman was entirely dependent on the user and required an enhanced level of creativity, improvisation, situational awareness, and forcibility. According to Sindralig, if a duelist dedicated himself exclusively to the mastery of Form 6, he or she could expect to study the style for at least 10 years. One of Niman's most notable practitioners was the fallen Jedi turned Sith Lord, Exar Kun. Exar Kun pursued an abnormally aggressive variant of Form 6, focusing less on the usual moderation of the form, and more on overpowering the enemy through brute strength. During his apprenticeship under the renowned Jedi Master, Vodo Siask Bas, Exar Kun excelled. However, as a young man, he developed, quote, a near obsessive curiosity towards the dark side. Even as a young apprentice, Kuhn was able to defeat his master in lightsaber combat. With a single blade, Kuhn was a deadly opponent, often named as one of, if not the most skilled lightsaber duelist of his era. However, with his innovation of the double blade, and his victory over his former master, Vodosias Kbas, Kuhn was hailed as a tactical genius by friend and foe alike. Kuhn's formidable prowess in combat was bolstered by both his ability to randomly adjust the length of his lightsaber, and by his ability to predict the enemy's actions through the Force. Ultimately, Niman was a perfect fit to his multifaceted method of attack, and provided the base for Kuhn to develop into a near unstoppable force. Jedi Battlemaster during the era of the Clone Wars, Sindralig taught hundreds if not thousands of Jedi the basics of lightsaber combat. Although proficient in every form, Dralig showcased particular talent in forms 1 and 6, Shi Cho and Ni Man respectively. During Order 66, Sin Dralig and his apprentice Sarah Kito were responsible for the deaths of countless clones, and together, successfully managed to hold the Jedi Temple's upper-level defenses. However, when he was inevitably faced against the Dark Lord Vader himself, 
Drolig was unable to defeat the raging Sith Lord and was cut down. Versatile, moderate, and almost entirely in line with Jedi philosophy, Niman was effectively the jack-of-all-trades fighting style, the amalgam of the previous five forms, and allowed its users to be well-suited for any encounter. And that is the way of Form 6. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.